we are at the final part of question 10 B part 4 it says you are to show that the pairing of A from C which is here to the nearest degree is 260 degrees all right let me just highlight where that is remember bearings are measured from the knot this is our knot line in a clockwise direction right here so this is the angle that you really want all right now let's try and figure out how you might get that angle remember this was done from earlier but I just made some I just copied the diagram put back some of the figures that I found earlier all right and then I'm going to tackle this part let's see what happens here how do you actually get this angle notice that if you knew all of this angle right here since everything in a complete circle all the angles in a complete circle add up to 360 if you do this and you could say 360 minus it and you get this so we can figure out how we, how can we get this angle or around here but then this angle here is part of all of this angle here right this is part of it so let's try and get this angle we're going to call this angle now all right bca angle b c a so remember this was angle b this side is side small b this is angle a so this side is sorry, side small a and this is angle big c so this side is small c we're supposed to be able to use the sine rule to get this angle let's try that it says a over sine a so that's the length of the side A divided by the sine of the angle big A equal B the length of the side small b over the sine of the angle big B so A this left side over the sine of this angle here big A equal the length of b here over the sine of this angle big b and that is also equal to side the length of side c the 52 here i right, call it c small c over the sine of the angle big c right here and remember this is in your formula sheet now a over sine a that would be 72 over sine well they're not really interested in finding this right now so you can leave this part out equal b 107 over sine of b ah this can help you because you know small b is 107 long and angle b angle b, b is 119 so that's 107 that's b the length of side b 107 over the sine of angle b right here is the sine of 119 is equal to c this length 
52 over the sine of angle C whatever it is can't just call it C for now what is 107 over sine 119 107 over sine 119 let's see 107 divided by use open bracket it's in degrees good sine 119 degrees close bracket equal 122.3 mm, let's see no what you need is the principal angle the small angle all right so sine of 119 what does my calculator here say about the sine of 119 sine 119 equals 0.8746 and 107 over that just checking is 122 all right good nothing wrong with it so it's 122.3 so this is 100 122.3 is equal to 52 over sine c all right if we multiply both sides by sine c now 122.3 is equal to 52 let me give it some space equals 52 over sine c this by sine c leaves us with 52 alone and this time sine c gives 122.3 by sine c equal 52 then the 122.3 sine c equal 52 i want sine c equal so i get rid of the 122.3 i'm left with sine c equal now I must divide here by 122.3 as well so what is 52 over 122.3 now 52 divided by that oh let me get myself straight and straighten out here what I had here was this equal I don't want to round off all right I don't want to use the 122.3 because I want it to be very accurate 52 over this is what 0 0.425 so I got for this zero point four two five now sine c is zero point four two five but sine c is not what i want i want the angle c so what do i do what i do is say c is equal to the sine inverse of zero point four two five all right so let's try that sine inverse my calculator here I don't see a sine inverse on my calculator right where oh no where is the second function on my calculator 
there's no second function or any shift but anyway I'm going to use my other calculator here and say point I have is I have a Casio calculator off screen so I say point four two five zero four eight eight three sine inverse I get 25.153 alright so in this case C is equal to 25.15 call it 25.15 for now 25.15 let me just say this is 25 I'll get back to it later on alright so call it 25 for now I want to make sure that I store all these figures because I want it to be very accurate so I'm saying this is 25.15375423 I want to have this stored here that should be what you got when you do the calculation so ensure that that's what you got alright so we have this angle here the problem now is finding the other angle I'm going to break this and continue with our next video in finding the other angle alright so see you in a few seconds